moment. Today I will be redoing my right hand. I love this hollow, but it's got to go. So I will be using my nail drill that my sister got me for um, Christmas. And I will also be using this like teardrop looking bit. I don't know what it actually is, but it works very well for taking off gel polish. So that's what I'm going to be using for today. So the first thing I'm going to do is first take off the top coat and the hollow. And this just looks kind of sad because I'm just like scraping off all the beautiful hollow. But we'll just get over that because I'm going to be doing something really pretty on top of this. So yeah, and then I focus on getting all the color off. And for some reason I always get like little bald spots instead of it going like one continuous go. I think it may be my nail drill because it does vibrate a lot. I'm thinking about getting a new one here in a few weeks, but... Yeah, we'll see about that. So then I'm going to do that to the rest of my nails. And one thing I noticed is this nail drill gets really hot. I've had this for a while and I've noticed that once I get to about like my ring finger, it starts to really heat up and it like kind of hurts whenever I'm drilling off the polish or whatever I'm drilling off my nail. Don't know why it does that, but here they are very blurry. Okay, that's, that's a little better. Um, so now what we're going to do is add a little bit more poly gel. Oh, by the way, these are poly gel nails. I think I forgot to mention that. <laughs> okay, um, anyways. But I'm going to be adding a little bit more poly gel because there is some, like, areas where the poly gel came off. And there's, like, dents. And I'll be using this poly gel from Sugar. And it's number four. And it's, like, a transparent pink. I really like this color. And for my slip solution, I'm going to be using 91% alcohol in a little glass dampen dish. So I'm going to be just applying a little bit, and I've been watching a lot of long hair pretty nails, if y'all don't watch her, go do it now. Um, I'm kidding, you don't have to, but she's really amazing. And I have like learned a lot more about poly gel from her review videos, and they definitely help me kind of understand the do's and don'ts with poly gel. What the? Okay, let's just fix that a little bit. There you go. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that noise was. Um, but I'm just going to add like a nice smooth layer so we can fill in all those divots. And then I'm going to flash cure that for 10 seconds. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of my nails. Not adding a lot because poly gel goes a long way. So just add a little bead uh, blob gloop of whatever you want to call it. We're just going to add a little bit of poly gel to our nails. And then make sure it's smooth. And then we're going to flash cure each nail for 10 seconds. And then once we do the last nail, which for me is my... That methane was just when I really messed up, so we're going to fix that because kind of took off some of the poly gel by my cuticle. And then we're going to cure those for 60 seconds. And then you're going to use alcohol to take off the tacky layer after that. And this poly gel does have very minimal heat spikes. It's not very, like, crazy to where it, like, burns, but it does have a little. And then here we go. We got all that done. And now we're going to take a 240 grit file, a very soft gritted file. If you didn't know, the higher the number, the softer the grit. And you want to use 240 instead of like a 120. Please do not use that. Don't do that. Um, because it will leave like dents and it'll like just dig through the poly gel. Poly gel is a very soft product, so it doesn't really need a super gritty file to get the job done. And then we're also going to clean up the sides a little bit because kind of messed that up and just want to perfect the shape a bit. So here they are, and now we're... Um, we're going to fix this problem because my cuticles for some reason grew back really fast after like a week. So we're going to take a cuticle bit, I think this is a cuticle bit, don't quote me on that, but it works up for cuticles and we're going to take off, take off that dead skin and kind of like blend the cuticle area of the poly gel, make it a lot thinner and I probably messed everything up. I don't know, this is just what works, I'm not a professional, okay? And then we're going to take off all the dust and debris because... I probably really didn't need to do this because we're going to be buffing these anyways, so that was kind of wasteful. But yeah, we're just going to buff the nails a little bit to get rid of any scratches or anything like that and just make the surface very smooth and... Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing I'm going to say. So whenever you're taking off the uh, like dust and stuff, you want to kind of like push up so you're pushing back your cuticle instead of like making it go down, so... Yeah, anyways, let's go on to the gel process. So now we're going to put a base coat on our nails, and I'm going to use this beautiful pink color from Beetle's Gel. I actually really like Beetle's Gel. They're like the third or second gel brand I've used. This is the third one. I do like these, but they are a lot more, they're like a little bit more expensive, but I will link these in the description down below if I can find them. <laughs> and so you guys can buy them if you want. 
So now I'm going to be adding uh, some little jimmies on my uh, middle finger. <laughs> I'm good. So I'm going to be using these little gems and... <clears throat> Dang it! I'm trying to get this in one go. Okay. And then we're going to add some cuticle oil after we top coated and all that stuff on our nails. That wasn't a word, but you get the idea. And here they are. They're not my favorite I've done on my right hand. I still really love the hollow. But I hope y'all I hope y'all enjoyed. And yeah, um, see y'all in the next video. Peace out, homies. <laughs>